as she was making the last deposit at the ATM. She says the suspect ran over, start fighting over the bag of money, and then kicked her. Investigators tell CBS 13 that once police officers got here to the apartment, they quickly learned why the fire crews were so concerned. So we decided to go to one of the restaurants here in the capital city to see how Proposition 30 and Measure U would affect you. And to make matters worse, it was 45 degrees that night. Traveling at 100 miles an hour on the hood of the car, police say she was suffering from hypothermia. Well, guys, two of those fishermen live right up here in Tuolumne County. Now, one of them has already been rescued. However, the other guy is still missing. And we did speak with the fiance of that missing fisherman, and she's still hoping to hear from her husband-to-be. Well, it is a mess up here in Jamestown. As you can see, there's just an army of cars lined up hoping to get home. And a lot of these folks live just right up the road, maybe three miles away in Sonora. But this is the problem. If they don't have four-wheel drive, the CHP officer is making them put on chains. Investigators tell CBS 13 once the suspect got into the vehicle, he tried to back out, but he couldn't because another car was blocking his way, and that's when the young lady escaped. Six people, including a mother and her four daughters, accused of running a sex slave ring. Police say for three years the woman sold underage teens for sex. Let's go to Ron Jones. He's live now at the Sacramento County Jail with more on this family affair, at least according to authorities, and they're facing felony charges, Ron. Yeah, and you know what's even more shocking about this story, guys? I had an opportunity to speak with a neighbor of one of the suspects, and she tells me that more women within her community are aspiring to become pimps. Man, I can't, man, I can't imagine me having them be pipped out. That's basically what they do out here. Some residents in this South Sacramento neighborhood are not shocked to hear that a family of five women, four sisters, and their mom are accused of teaming up with a family friend to become lady pimps. They can't have that out here, you know, pimping little 13, 14 years out of here. And this is the first time that I've seen multiple family members involved in anything like this. Assistant U.S. Attorney Kyle Reardon is prosecuting the women. Here are three of them, the Hornbuckle girls, all college age. The feds say the women found several trusting young girls and worked them. The girls are attracted by uh, promises of money. They're attracted by promises of power and, and travel. Allegedly selling them to Johns, frequently taking them to a local motel. Investigators say it went on for three years. But today it's not about the men, it's more or less the women. A friend of one of the suspects says today's young teenage prostitute bonds more quickly with lady pimps than men. Most guys are rough, you know, women are more like, you know, gentle. You know, motherly. You might be looking, as everybody is, for some kind of love and affection. Ellen Bell runs a shelter for abused and homeless teens. 90% of the girls they help have been sexually exploited. There's a market for boys, too. We don't hear about it yet as much, but it still does affect young men as well as young women. The feds say the women were caught after feeling comfortable enough to market the teens online. Investigators say lady pimps are not the motherly type. Beaten by their pimps, being abused by their pimps, being uh, robbed by the Johns that, that uh, come and have sex with them. Well, I am holding in my hand right now a 13-count indictment, and if they are convicted, those six women could spend a lot of time behind bars in federal prison.